Hi everyone, in this lesson we are going to learn about the endocrine functions of the kidney. First, we are going to describe what are the hormones produced by the kidney. Then, we are going to describe what are the hormones acting on the kidney. So first, we shall start with the hormones produced by the kidney. And in this table, showing the hormones produced by the kidney and what type of cells producing them from where they are produced and what are the major functions of these hormones. The hormones produced by the kidney, they are major. They are three hormones. The first hormone is renin. Renin is produced from the juxtaglomerular apparatus. Within the kidney, within the juxtaglomerular apparatus, production of renin. But more specific, renin is produced by the granular cells that is within the juxtaglomerular apparatus. The major functions of renin is regulation of blood pressure through formation of angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is a potent vasoconstrictor and also angiotensin 2 involved in the production of aldosterone. Second hormone produced by the kidney is calcitriol or active form of vitamin D. Uh, calcitriol is produced by the proximal convoluted tubular cells. That is the first part of the nephron, the proximal convoluted tubular cells. The major action of calcitriol is to promote calcium and phosphate absorption from the GIT. The third hormone produced by the kidney is erythropoietin. And erythropoietin produced from the fibroblast-like cells. Fibroblast-like cells, they are cells exist within the interstitium of the kidney, which is mainly, of course, is promote the formation of red blood cells. Now, the second part of our discussion is hormones acting on the kidney. What are the hormones acting on the kidney? And this table, again, showing the hormones acting on the kidney and from where they are released, from where they are secreted, and also what are those major actions of those hormones. The first hormone we discuss that act on the kidney is antidiuretic hormone or also called vasopressin. Vasopressin is produced by the hypothalamus and secreted by the posterior pituitary gland. The action of antidiuretic hormone is on the last part of the nephron or within the collecting tubule, within the collecting tubule. And the major action is water retention or water reabsorption. The second hormone acting on the kidney is parathyroid hormone. Parathyroid hormone is produced from the parathyroid gland and parathyroid hormone having few actions within the kidney the first action is inhibit reabsorption of phosphate and it is promote reabsorption of calcium and the third action of parathyroid hormone is involved in the formation of vitamin D. The third hormone acting on the kidney is aldosterone. And aldosterone is produced from the adrenal cortex by the actions of angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 will stimulate adrenal cortex to produce aldosterone. And the major action of aldosterone is in the 
last part of the nephron within the cortical collecting duct and the action is promote sodium reabsorption the last hormone we are going to discuss is atrial nitriuretic peptides this hormone is produced from the atrial myocardial cells and it is especially important in regulation of blood volume in summary we have discussed about the hormones produced by the kidney and the hormones act on the kidney and we mentioned the major hormones produced by the kidney is renin which is important in regulation of blood pressure and it is secreted by the granular cells of juxtaglomerular apparatus the second hormone produced by the kidney is calcitriol which is important in absorption of calcium as well as phosphate from the GIT the third hormone is erythropoietin which is important in formation of red blood cells and also we have discussed on the hormones that act on, on the kidney and the hormones there are four we mentioned them the first is antidiuretic hormone which is important in water reabsorption from the last part of the nephron the second hormone is parathyroid hormone which is important in reabsorption of calcium and inhibition of phosphate reabsorption and also involved in formation of vitamin d or calcitriol the third hormone act on the kidney is aldosterone which is important in reabsorption of sodium and excretion of potassium ion and the last hormone act on the kidney is atrial natriuretic peptide which is just opposite action to aldosterone and it is important in inhibition of sodium reabsorption thank you very much